We were in the ballroom that night. Our wedding ball. Our marriage only four hours old. Still unused. We promised Daddy he'd cry. We wouldn't go away. We'd honeymoon here. But my Harvey and I conspired like naughty children. The car was ready in the driveway to take us to a cabin on some distant mountain. Stolen honeymoon. It was to steal up here, change his clothes. I was to lock myself in the powder room. My street clothes were hidden there. We would be quick. No one would miss us. I saw how we signaled. I saw him steal up the stairs. And then... I never saw him again. No one ever saw him again. Daddy cried. I from it. But I refused to. I am going someday to that distant mountain. And I am going farther. Oh, when he comes back, he'll find that nothing has changed. Not the bridal suite, not the car in the driveway, not I. <laughs> we are all just as he left us. you wanted to talk about Vivian. I've changed my mind. I've decided I'd rather talk to Vivia than about her. Where do you ask her to come down here? Well, she's, she's probably tired. Her name was Balfour, wasn't it, Mr. Smith? Her daddy knows she's out. The Emmett Balfour I've read about was sizzly sunspots if he knew his little girl had run away. To... What do you want, Mrs. Cry? I want Vivian to come down here for a few small minutes. That's all. Why? To smile at me. A few small smiles. To remind me how bride smiles. Mr. Smith, will you persuade her to come and smile at me? Vivian? 
Let your baby wait no more. Doomsday is knocking at my door. Nothing like being on the wrong side of a stuck door on your wedding night. Vivian? Yeah. 